we doing this week? Good question. This week we are going to create two studies using vibrant, expressive, contrasting colour. What materials do we need? Here's a checklist of what you need for this week's lessons. Two sheets of paper, a pencil, colour materials, whatever you have at home. Are there any tips for how I should use the colours? A good tip is to divide your colour materials into two groups. Move the darker colours which you'll use for shaded areas to the left hand side and your lighter colours which you'll use for highlighted areas to the right hand side. This should help when it comes to rendering your drawings using dark and light. Step 1. Colour Pencil Study Working from a photo or from life, sketch out your object, subject or view in pencil. Once complete, begin to add colour shading. Remember, use darker colours for shaded areas and lighter colours for any highlights. Remember you can't use black. Try to blend the colours in the same way that you work with pencil tone. Refine your work as you finalise your study. Add fine details and possibly a bit of background to complete your work. Step 2. Oil Pastel Study Start in the same way as you begun the first study. Sketch out a line drawing of your object, subject or view. Begin to add crayon or oil pastel to your work. The oil pastels allow you to work more quickly than colour pencils and you can create a sketchier, more energetic drawing. Apply expressive colour in the same way as the first study using darker colours for shaded areas and lighter colours for highlighted areas. Refine your work but be careful, as oil pastels are trickier to use than colour pencils when it comes to adding fine details. Feedback. If you need any help or assistance during the week, just get in contact with me via Teams and I will get back to you as quickly as possible. Keep working hard, good luck with this week's task, stay safe and see you soon.